These Red Rock 4x4 honeycomb grill inserts in black are for those of you that have a 2007 to 2018 JK that are looking for a way to change up the look of the front of your Jeep without doing any sort of major, major modifications or spending a ton of money. This is going to be a cheap way to make a big impact on the look of your Jeep and also offer some light protection to the radiator area from some stone throws. This is gonna be a very, very simple one out of three wrench installation. You simply snap these into place, but we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a second. Now, I just said that these fit a seven to 18 JK. However, if you have one of those special edition JKs that they did in the later years, they may already have somewhat of a factory grill insert. And if that is the case, you cannot use these. So check the site. There is a full list of different uh, special editions that will not allow these to work. But 98 Eight plus percent of the Jeeps built, these are going to work, they're gonna snap right in place. So again, this is really about changing up the look of your Jeep, but because this does close in those seven grill slots a little bit, if you were to get a stone throw that would otherwise go directly through the slot and possibly do some damage to the radiator, this will help protect that if it hits the plastic instead of going through one of the holes. Other than that, just a great way to change up the Jeep and only spend about 20 bucks. As for construction, very, very simple here. These are going to be a plastic piece. They're designed to snap directly into the grill. They're made of a nice high quality plastic. Uh, they do have a very nice gloss black finish on them, which really looks good with any color Jeep. And the honeycomb is a little bit of a different style. So of course you can find the vertical slats, you can find the mesh ones. These are just one more option available from Red Rock 4x4. I think these grill inserts are very fairly priced at right around $20. I think it's a high quality piece for a low cost. But the way that I really look at these are how much of a visual impact they're gonna have on the Jeep per dollar. And these drastically change the look of the front end of your Jeep for 20 bucks and a very easy install. If that's what you're looking to do. I think this is an excellent choice at a very fair price. Now remember, the install team will show you how to get these snapped into place. To begin this install, first we're gonna remove our grill. To remove our grill, we're gonna need to remove push pins out of the top of it, so we're gonna open up our hood. So we're just gonna take a flat-headed screwdriver and we're gonna push the center of these pins up so we can pull those out. After you've removed those pins, we can go ahead and pull this back and we'll just tug out on the bottom. That's going to disconnect the lower section of the grill. Once we have that up, we can go ahead and disconnect our turn signal lights. So you're going to release this red locking tab, then you're going to squeeze down on this tab and that'll disconnect the light. You can do the same thing for the other side. After all that, you can remove your grill. So now that we have our grill on the table, we're ready to install our inserts. There's gonna be a long sloping side that's gonna be on the bottom of the grill. So we're gonna go ahead and place this in here, and then we're gonna push that until it clips on the back side. So if we flip this thing around, you see these are pushing through. You want to make sure that this comes all the way through and clips onto that. Once all of those clipped in, we can move to our next one. So we can move on to our next one, do the same thing. We're going to push that through until it clips in. So once you've ensured that all those locking tabs have engaged, you're ready to put your Jeep grill back on your Jeep. So we're going to line this up. First we're going to plug in our turn signals.
Once your turn signals are plugged in, then you're ready to put this thing back into place. I'm gonna lower it down and get the bottom lined up. Push that bottom in to click it in place. Then we just need to put our push pins up top. So after you have all of your push pins back in, you're ready to shut your hood. So that wraps up our review and install. For more videos like this, check us out at ExtremeTerrain.com.